pretty good. It, it, the speed depends on how thick it is. Um, it can go much faster than this, but it depends on your material. Sometimes you need to go fast, multiple passes, low power, sometimes slow, high power. It, it does depend on the material thickness, but it's also the material itself and uh, how charred you're willing to allow the edges to look. Sometimes if you go very slow, it gives it too much time for the already charred edge, which absorbs light better, yeah. to further char. Oh. And, it's, it's, and it also has to do with your air pressure. We're using compressed air out of the nozzle to keep the optics clean and also to extinguish the fire before it can really get started. Oh, okay. you, you'd think with blowing on a, you know, something that you're trying to catch fire would help it, but you're actually cooling it enough. It's like you can, of course, blow a candle out by oh, blowing on it. So, uh, because the flame is so tiny, it's the size of a laser beam, uh, blowing on it is enough to keep it from really catching fire. And that's a huge factor. If you have way, way better compressed air, um, you can cut more slowly, and it's almost like a plasma cutter. Mm -hmm. The disadvantage is you will also potentially blow your work around. Oh, so okay. it's important that your work <clears throat> is either heavy or you cut inner pieces out before exterior. Mm -hmm. Because if you free an exterior piece and blow it to the side and then cut an interior piece off of that, right. it'll be misaligned. That's a much bigger problem on CNC because of the tool pressure on small, thin parts. Yeah, CNC's <clears throat> are a totally different beast. That's a really nice mill you have there. Do you ever do any CNC on it? Yes, I do. It's a CNC retrofit bridge, bridge port. It has ball screws. Yeah. And, um, 